Good morning. How are you today? Our lesson today, we will complete the digestive system. As we studied before, the digestive system divided into two parts, digestive canal and digestive canal supplementaries. Digestive canal consists of mouth, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and rectum and anus. And we studied before also digestive canal supplementaries. We have salivary gland, we have liver and pancreas. Now today we will complete the digestive system. Small intestine, just after the stomach we have the small intestine. Small intestine, it is the long tube coiled in the abdominal cavity. It's length about seven meters. It divided into two parts, which are, we have duodenum, as in shown in figure, and ileum. Here we have a ileum. So we have here small intestine divided into two parts. Small part called duodenum and lo long part called ileum. Okay? This ileum is folded around itself. Liver and pancreas. Liver and pancreas from the digestive canal supplementaries as we studied before. Liver help in digestion on the food. Here we have the liver. It secretes bile juice. It secretes what? Bile juice. Which digest fats into fatty emulsion. Digest fats into fatty emulsion. Okay, here, what's the meaning of emulsion? Emulsion, it is the simple part of fat. It divided or digest the fats into small or simple part of fats by liver. And it poured in duodenum. Then we have another, then we have another pancreas, another organ, pancreas. Help in digestion here. We have the duodenum, help in digestion, secrete, secrete the pancreatic juice and poured in duodenum also. So we have the liver and pancreas poured in duodenum, okay? Liver secrete bile juice, pancreas secrete pancreatic juice. Liver secrete bile juice that digest fat into fatty emulsion. Pancreas help in digestion by pancreatic juice. Function of the small intestine. Here, small intestine number one digest the food completely in ileum by intestinal juice. But number one, the digested food completely in ileum by inst intestinal juice. It absorbs the digested food. So we have two function of the small intestine. Complete the digestion and absorb the digested food. Pass it into the blood. Here we have the small intestine, okay? And the digested food, pass it to the blood by the small nipples called villi. It's found in the small intestine walls then reaches to the blood. Here, after this small intestine, we have large intestine. It starts from the end of the small intestine and ending in the anus. The function of this large intestine store the undigested food. Here we have the bad food, we have the wastes. The stored, the large intestine stores the undigested food and then eject outside the body as a wastes. After this large intestine, we have rectum. The function of this rectum is very important. Absorb the water from the wastes before they eject outside the body through the anus. So we have large intestine and rectum. Large intestine store the undigested food to go outside the body as wastes. And then we have the rectum, again, absorb the water from the wastes before eject, ejected outside the body.
So here the large intestine, waste is stored in the large intestine and then eject outside the body as waste is. So what after all we said that the, the food divided into two group, digested food and undigested food. Digested food, good, good food, okay, goes to the blood to get energy, to get energy and make life activity. Undigested food or bad food goes to the large intestine and then eject outside the body as a waste. Here, we can make summarize to the to the secretion in our body. Number one, we have saliva. Saliva secreted by salivary glands in mouth. Okay, what's the function of this saliva? Digest starch into sugar. Gastric juice secreted by stomach digested proteins incompletely into semi-liquid substance. By juice secreted by liver in duodenum, digest the fats into fatty emulsion or small part of, of fat. Pancreatic juice pa secreted by pancreas in duodenum help in digestion. Intestinal juice secreted by small intestine by the ileum digest the food completely. Here, how to keep the digestive system healthy? From our lesson, we studied that the digestive system is very important. How to keep digestive system healthy? Number one, chew the food well, as this girl. Number two, don't eat much food that contains large amounts of fats, such as fast meals like this number three try not to eat much food containing additives and flavoring number four don't buy food from the street practice sports regularly now i'll ask you some questions number one choose the digestion process starts in do you think the digestion process starts in what? Mouth or esophagus or anus? Excellent. In mouth. Number two, complete the digestion happens in. Do you think where the complete the digestion happens in? Stomach or small intestine or mouth? Yeah, small intestine. Excellent. Question number two, give reasons for number one, we must chew the food well. Why we must chew the food well? To keep our digestive system healthy. Number two, you feel a sweet taste when you chew a piece of bread well because saliva digests starch and change it into sugar. Okay, thank you very much. Study hard this lesson. Thank you and goodbye.